What's wrong with me? Why do I keep getting rejected? rejected. I think, think, I think I've lost, lost it. it. I used to be so good at this. I don't know. And whatever happened to Goodwill? When they had games. Am I done? done? Is this it? Is it? I don't know. No! Finally! On the brink of giving up, but the legs must pull through! A PS5 trade so massive it'll have you questioning question your, your existence. existence. That's tonight, so stay tuned. In the meantime, we got a few more hunts that need hunt. Let's go! Sega Saturn sits stellar in my solar oh, yeah. system. That's why when my man sent over this photo for my yes. Xbox Series X, I said deal! Hey, how's it going? You play music to make a video with me, you know? Ooh. Last time I scored a Sega Saturn lot this sick. I was sipping out of a sippy cup. Really excited to break this down. Guy didn't want to be filmed, which was a first for me. Nevertheless, he was really sick. He actually told me that he had a bunch more video games from Jaguar to PS1. And I'm talking about tons. tons. Unfortunately, a few months ago, he donated them all to good ones. Take him to the police. Nevertheless, let's take this back home and check it out. Let's go. Oh, how out of this world. From the depths of the solar Sega system to Earth, Saturn. the Sega Saturn comes to visit. Welcome. The Sega Saturn is an extremely sought after system and the games are rare. And like I said before, this lot right here was traded out by an Xbox Series X. And when this guy tossed over photos of his lot, I hopped on my horse and started galloping. Because right off the bat, I was seeing games that I knew tossed out. Even the racing games have some big value. Sega Rally right here. And this one's a good example of how beautiful he oh. kept his games. And absolutely mirror-like discs. Check out Sega Touring Car. I believe this bad boy goes for around $50 cash. Man kept all the inserts as well. So you gotta appreciate that. Robotica. Last Bronx, a solid title right here. Iron Man XO Man of War and Heavy Metal. Virtual On, which is a big pusher, I believe. Wing Arms. Makes TT super bike big boy money pushes 50 cash another sega sports game daytona usa fighting vipers in absolutely mint Beautiful. condition a mock the war is not over and it certainly isn't because we got x-men children of the atom in its entirety of course loaded up with a sick poster wow. here's another grail blazing hero which actually looks like a pretty sick game with animated uh -oh. violence of course you know it's got to be good Both the panzer dragoon Panzer Dragoon 1, which is sick to see, but isn't worth as much as Panzer Dragoon 2. Looks like my man spent 35 my bucks on got it. Got a solid deal for it. Loaded up with the <laughs> registration card, of course. Minty beautiful shape. Both of them are. Damn. Nights into dreams worth a good chunk of change. Again, guys, can we get a life for hope? Beautifully kept this man had his games. I mean, looking at the spines alone, you can just taste that immaculate like decision. That. Enemy Zero for the Sega Saturn. Guys, when I checked the comps of this bodacious beauty, I just about oh flipped out of my chair. Four discs total to make this bad boy complete. And a nice healthy dish of paperwork included. Considering I paid 250 bucks for that Xbox Series X, calling this lot gravy would be an understatement. And we ain't even finished yet. I took a look at some of these games that I thought were a little bit more filler. But this Christmas Nights into Dreams sampler disc is worth a little more than I imagined. And I couldn't actually find any of the not for resale variants of this one. So it might be pushing a little bit more cash than I first perceived. Nevertheless, that's bonkers. We even have this right here. A CD Plus for the Saturn cartridge. I think this goes into the slot right at the top. But I could be wrong. Let me know down in the comments if I'm a dunce. And finally, we got the cream of the crop. The beautiful, complete in box. Immaculate Sega Saturn. Oh, this is the box variant that includes Virtual Fighter. Yes. And the guy was even letting me know that when he was younger and first opened up this baby in the 90s. He knew he had to keep it in good shape. Right off the bat, the instruction manual
manual. And Virtual Fighter locked and loaded, ready to go. It's a little odd, cause that's uh, two of them. And you open it up and voila. Solar cords and plastic wrap to encase this bad boy. Beautiful. Yeah. Guys, I wish you were here to see this baby in person, cause you would be absolutely shocked. Yes. I mean, she is just beautiful. Now, I don't know what it is about the Sega Saturn, but I absolutely love coming across them. Most of the games in the Sega Saturn library are rare. Hard to find. The box art's always beautiful on them. When you come across them in this stupidly good condition, you can't help but smile. Attention, Cody with, Cody a, with a K. You're needed in the video, video game, game hunting department, department now. Hunting awaits, let's see what else we can take home. Me and you, baby, and I'm not just talking about the console. This baby popped up on market with a treat inside it that makes my walkers go wonky. And for a hundred bucks, I'll take it. Hey, how's it going? I was just coming up with it okay. up there. So there we go. You must have so, gotten a lot of messages on this. Actually, no. No, really? Well, well, I mean, I only had it up for like five minutes. Before. Okay. Um, Count that out. Make sure that's all there. 100 cash. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Out here on this beautiful day because this is a beautiful score. Nice little bag of Wii U goodies for a hundred bucks. The console itself, which is gonna pretty much pay for the lot. <laughs> As you can see, it's a little dusty. <laughs> you know I have to clean you up. Yeah, that's my Wii U right there. Yeah, yeah. Monster Hunter Ultimate 3, a solid Capcom title. Zelda Wind Waker HD. Fully complete, guys. If this game was the only game in the lot, I still would have snatched yeah. it up quick. And finally, to cap it off, Game and Wario. Cool. Guys, this is a bubble oh. if I've seen one before. Fully complete in excellent condition. Of course, it's a Wii U disc, so you know they all look beautiful. Duh. But this baby pushes 120 That's bucks. Crazy. Definitely staying in my personal stash collection. Talk about dreams coming true. Wario, you made my day. Now lots like this send me over the moon, but according to this guy right here, me? you said there was a trade guy. The Xbox Series S trade? Exactly. Let's go! How's it going? Good, here's the Xbox. It's all here. I guess we're good to go. Everything look good there? Yep. Okay, sweet. Hey. Let me know if you have any issues, okay? okay. Man, this day has wrapped up. Now I paid 150 bucks for that Xbox Series S, so when you see what's in this bundle right here, your tingles will start tingling. No, don't like that. Let's go! I'm a happy cucumber, and this lot right here has me pickled. Yeah. Right off the bat, a Nintendo Switch. Now right here, we got the original model, HAC001, so if it's hackable, it's packable. It actually works great besides this Joy-Con rudder right here. But what really surprised me is the condition of the screen. It's actually really nice for an HAC001. Fantastic. 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 My man was also sick enough to add in an extra pair of Joy-Cons. These alone push 50, 60 bucks, so that's sick. Three, maybe four solid titles, depending on on your preference. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Breath of the Wild. Super Mario Party. And 1-2 Switch. Mixed reviews on this one, but I think I might pop it in and give her a try. Now that Series S ended up costing me 150 bucks on Marketplace. Yes, I got lucky on that one. So as you can imagine, the Switch lot right here already pays for the lot. But what comes next puts the rest in shape. The legendary Zelda Hyrule Edition 3DS XL. My friends, this is the second time this bad boy has landed on my a 200 sometimes 300 dollar bill solid games include monster hunter ultimate 3 pokemon omega ruby super mario bros 2 and when you pop open this system you got beautiful majora's mask <laughs> Comment down below if you played this masterpiece right here. Also, I would love to know you guys' opinion on the 3DS version versus the N64. Oh, legendary, am I right? You just can't beat this trade gravy trade. Guys, I love doing this. It puts the pickle in my pickle jar. But I'm a bit afraid it's hard to top. I'm crossing my fingers and he's doing the good luck dance for me over there. And together, we're gonna keep making things happen. Let's go! Hey. You just put it on the ground. Yes. Okay. Wow, it's a lot of stuff. Yeah.
and definitely let me know if there's any issues with it, okay? Okay, it is the disc version. It's the disc version, yeah. Okay, Two cool. controllers in there, yep. Okay, yeah, nice to meet you. You too. Man. Awesome, man. Thank you for the sick trade. Yeah, you're welcome. I am shocked. When it comes to PlayStation 5 trades, the possibilities are endless, and this one right here didn't disappoint. Sega Genesis console only looks to be in beautiful condition, strapped up with three controllers. Two of them are OEM, and one is this what bad is boy. High frequency, clear controller. Not sure if this is worth cash, but it might be. Five games included Sonic the Hedgehog, fully complete, Sonic 2 not for resale, Aladdin, and Strider. Right. 12 solid NES staples, a couple Capcoms, Dream Master, Super Mario Bros. Duck Hunt, every bundle's gotta come with a few of them and check out this <laughs> an original nes dog bone controller i wasn't even aware this bad boy was included what? in beautiful condition super nintendo console equipped with four oem Yay! controllers and finally an n64 fully loaded with five nice. games star wars low runner 3 d superman everyone's favorite shadows of the empire tony ox pro skater i went ahead and checked the expansion pack <laughs> I honestly didn't even know that was included, so I gotta thank the beautiful soul that initiated this trade. His generosity is especially apparent in what you're gonna see throughout the rest of this trade, but especially what you will see next. This N64 bundle was not alone, it included the smoke gray controller. A very rare controller and especially valuable. I'm probably gonna hold on to this one until I come across the smoke gray console, because I still haven't come across that bad boy yet. Four systems already knocked out on the docket, and we're just getting started. Y'all trying to get hit with some PlayStation games? 50 plus PlayStation games and a couple insane hits. Now a lot of these stacks right here is filler, but when this filler includes games such as God of War, Sly, Simpsons Road Rage, and Dragon Ball Budokai, and y'all know that this PlayStation lot is sick. That PlayStation 2 console, in fairly good condition I may add, living next to a slim silver. Rarely come across these bad boys, so this is actually really sick to see. But there's two games in this lot that had me changing my trousers on the way here. Manhunt 2. Fully complete with the manual, disc in check, and finally Death Jam Fight for New York. When it comes to PlayStation 2 Grails, this one knocks out the competition. Oh, yeah. The manual itself is in a little bit rough condition, but even so, we're still sitting at 150 cash. And if PS2's not your jam, then check out the PSP. Five PSP games with four of them actually being pretty solid. The City of, the city of Zero One Two, Crisis Core, Final Fantasy VII, and Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. A few PlayStation 1's wrapped up in the mix, including the Crash Bandicoot games, Tomb Raider, and Spyro Year of the Dragon. Classic staples in any PS1 lot, and enough PlayStation 2 games to start a bonkers collection. All we need left here is a little... We and we you, baby. We got the Wii new console strapped up with the gamepad nice and clean looking as well as nine games that y'all know are going straight into my wii u collection although i believe i have most of these games saul wants to point out splatoon super smash bros minecraft wii u edition my man was also able to toss in a wii u pro control so a boston bundle right there will be complete set console strapped up with two controllers and wii sports you gotta have it some filler titles to add into the bunch zelda twilight like Princess is in there, Mario and Sonic. Got the box ready to go, which is really cool that he added that in. And two freebies, including a Wii nunchuck sealed in the box. That's actually pretty sick. And the joystick encased in the blister pack like the day it came out. Now again, a PlayStation 5 disc version was traded out the door. And even more games were- hey, Whoa, watch where you stepping, guy. Guys, the amount of PlayStation 3 games here is enough to fill up a collection on its own. Tons of staples in this hall right here. Resident Evil 5, Metal Gear Solid 4, The Last of Us, NCAA Football 11, it's not NCAA Football 14 unfortunately, but I'm not complaining, a highlight here is Grand Theft Auto 5, The Steel Book, fully complete, really sick to see this bad boy, with all the Playstation 3 games you guys are seeing right here, I would feel remiss if I didn't include a giveaway, comment down below your favorite Playstation 3 game, and if you have more than one, I wanna know, your choice of 10 of these Playstation 3 game games, Boo! Make it 20!
whatever ones you want to choose to fill into your collection at home. I say good luck to you all. A few peripherals right here, including the PlayStation Move setup, and a camo PS3 controller, and some Xbox 360 games. A lot of filler in this lot right here. Again, nothing too crazy. The grail in this lot is the R2-D2 Xbox 360. Paired up with the golden controller, this bad boy is a beauty. And y'all know that I just picked up this bad boy a few weeks ago. So to see one again, and in this mint of condition, just blows me away. Almost as much as my two favorite pieces in this lot. Zelda promotional disc. Fully complete for the GameCube in excellent condition. Y'all know that anything Zelda just has to be at the top of my list. And Zelda Wind Waker. Also complete with the manual and the paperwork. These two are doubles for me, but nevertheless, I love scoring. A couple of extra things my man tossed in was this Braveheart 368 William Wallace pop figurine, which actually has a little bit of value to it. A couple random GameCube games and a Sega Dreamcast in perfect condition. Oh, oh no God. way! I have been looking for this game. So cool to see this game. I even had the case for I it. I mean, it just goes to show you that these PlayStation 5 trades just don't have a ceiling to them. Like, figuratively speaking, of course. Nevertheless, I'd call today one of the best days ever. Don't forget to let me know your favorite PS3 game, friends, family, and the guy that keeps yelling at me to turn it down Shut a little up. bit. I wish you all the best. Let's, Let's go! go.